Okay, hi guys. So I'm Astrid uh, from Waddle and Wool and today I'm having another little video with my mum. Um, it's her birthday today, but we are in the midst of coronavirus. So we are practicing social distancing. So you're going to see me, then her, then me, then her, or however it goes. Um, just to make sure that we are keeping nice and safe. Happy birthday to my poor mum. Um, but yeah, so this will come up as soon as I can put it up. And I hope that you guys enjoy. As mum would like to remind you, make sure that you ring the bell, click the link, subscribe, comment, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I'm going to pass it over to my mum. Hi, <laughs> we're just making sure that we are two arms lengths apart. So today I'm going to be talking about quilts and the title of this for me is It All Began With A Tea Cozy. So the last time I was on Astrid's channel, I spoke about this tea cozy here and the patchwork and how it actually inspired me to doing more and more quilting. So what I have found about patchworking, what I love about it, is it's really just scraps of leftover fabric. This is one that I made recently. And you can see here it's just lots of little bits of fabric. And then what I do from that is I actually then make a quilt out of it. And I just think about our lives, that sometimes things don't work out and we feel like we have leftovers, we have scraps. But we can actually collect those up together and make something really beautiful out of them. Okay, so since doing patchwork, one thing I have really discovered is a very humble fabric, which is called homespun. Even the name of homespun is quite unremarkable. But what it does is it actually binds all of these fabrics together into essentially what is fabric. So if I show you this one here, you can see, you can mostly see the white fabric, which is the homespun. So never underestimate something that is very humble. And I think in our everyday lives, that could be something like our daily habits, our daily practices, things that we think there's really nothing about them, things that in ourselves we just think, well, I'm nothing special, I don't do anything remarkable. But really, everything that we do is remarkable when we bind it all together with the right attitude. So in doing all of these uh, patchworks, I have invested in all of the right equipment. So I've invested in a, an overlocker, in a sewing machine, all of my threads, my needles. I make sure that I have all of the right equipment. My scissors, I make sure they're sharp. And I think that in things that we do in life, we need to make sure that we invest in ourselves and have all the right equipment so that we are ready to do things that are important to us. This is another patchwork that I've made as well. And you can see there's a similar set theme here. All of these just go into my houses, into my house, sorry. So when it, after I've done the patchwork, then what I do is I actually then hand it over to somebody who has got a higher level of expertise than I do in putting all of the patterns together. And she's a long arm quilter. So she's also invested in all this equipment. In her dining room, she actually has a two meter machine that is a long arm quilter. And she herself has the expertise to be able to bind all of this together. I do have to follow her instructions. So she gives me very specific instructions. So I have to have a 15 centimeter border um, I have to make sure that I bind everything together, I pin everything together. So I have to make sure that I follow the steps that she's told me so that I can have the best product. Then I hand it over to her and then she does her magic and I love it in about three weeks time when I actually get the phone call from her saying my quilt is ready and then I go and pick it up. And what's fantastic about this too is not only have I got to know Margaret, but I've also got to know another, a lot of other people who are also there dropping their quilts off or picking them up. 
So it's actually expanded my world by actually meeting her. And what I'm doing is I'm actually supporting her business. She has a level of expertise that I could not possibly have. And by me handing over to her, then she actually gives back to me. She gives me something of a much higher quality than I can do on my own. I'm not sure if you can see here. It's I probably showed at the right angle. So all of this embossing here, that is actually done by Margaret. And she has a whole pattern book and I make the selection and then she just does her magic. I don't know how she does it. It's just magical what she actually does. Do you want to explain what that one is? Sorry for the off-body voice. Astrid's right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one here is one that I made for Natasha when she first became a nurse. I just really wanted to celebrate that achievement. And so I found all of these patterns and then I just put them all together. So this was her nurse quilt. Which she then refused to put in her bed <laughs> because it's got urine in it. Um, not like on it, like mum didn't pay her anything, but like it's got like yellow bags. So Tash refuses yeah. to have it on her bed. But yeah. we love mum for the effort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is another video which Astrid might show you of when I actually gave it to them and it's very that obvious that Natasha was not impressed. But anyway, <laughs> that's what happens. The quilt is nice. We like the quilt. Where are you? We like the quilt. We just turned a bit dodgy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All those mums out there, you'll know what it's like when you get it right sometimes and then other times you just other get it Other times we tell you. <laughs> yes. Anyway, next thing is uh, hand stitching. So when, so when I actually go and pick up my quilt from Margaret, it's just like picking up something very precious from... Um, somebody who's made something for me and then what I do is I then come home and I cut off all the border and then I literally sit here with my quilt on my lap and then I hand stitch the border and for me that is just um, probably the part of it that I enjoy the most of the whole process it's really when I make this my own and I think with anything that we do when you actually make something your own, when you personalize it for you, that's when it really has value. So I just sit there and I just hand stitch all of this. Yes, it does take me a little bit of time, but I find it really relaxing. Sometimes I have a friend over and then she might do one end and I have another and we just sit there and chat. But to me, that is just like the final touch where I can really say that this is truly a quilt that belongs to me. Then lastly, what I do is I actually integrate these quilts into my life. These are real things that I have in my life. They cover couches, they go on my children's beds, and they really do just decorate my home. So this one here is another one. After Natasha really did not like her nurse quilt, then she asked me to do a cherry blossom one for her. So this is one that I did. And this is something that goes on her bed. It's just something that adorns our houses and makes it real for us. So I think anything that you work at in life, when you actually integrate it into your life and make it your own, then it really is something special. Okay, so while we try and have the corners of the screen, we're trying to stay away, um, thank you for listening. I hope that you liked my mum's very inspirational um, chat. She's been working on this for a while um, to make sure that it's the absolute best that she can make it for you. Um, so thank you. And again, it's my mum's birthday. So all the birthday well wishes would be lovely. Um, what was your part? Please subscribe and press the notifications button below so that you always get the videos. And please make sure that you like this video as well. Yes. We love you. Bye. Bye.